hello everyone welcome back to my channel service now universe hope you all are doing well in this video i'll show you how to create a stunning website in minutes using an ai tool with just some prompts and then bring it straight into service now service portal let's get started to create the website we'll use cloud ai now let's just give the prompt here create a mini expense tracker website okay i'll just submit this prompt okay now it is processing that prompt and it will uh, create the code here so we can see it has it started creating the css okay now it started creating the html now the javascript and even we can see the result in this ai itself okay now if i want to change the uh, color then i can do that as well change the color to yellow now it starts updating the code okay so now we can see it has changed the color theme to yellow so we can give different prompts uh, as per our requirement okay now we have the toggle button here to view the result and to view the code so if i click on that toggle button then i'll be able to see the code here okay now this is the generated code we can see the css is embedded in the html using the style tag and even the javascript is also embedded here in the script tag okay so let's just copy this and use it in the widget but later we'll convert this to service portal format using the ai itself with just one prompt so let's just copy this and let's go and create a new widget i'll open this in a widget editor okay till then let me just create a page Okay, uh, now let's add the widget created in this page. Okay. Yeah, let's search for the widget that is expense tracker and let's put that in this page. Okay, now it is added to the page. If I refresh this page, then I can see uh, that is added here. Okay, now I'll just click on try it and using service portal, that's the SP portal, I'll try it. Okay, now we don't have anything in the uh, page, that's why this is empty. Okay. Now let's just copy this code okay, and put that in HTML. Okay. Later we'll change this uh, and separate CSS client script and server side also. Okay. So now if I refresh the page, we should be able to see the mini expense tracker here. Okay. So, so we have that tracker here. Now this is broken, so we can fix that. Okay, so let's add something here. So I'll say lunch. I'll say 500 rupees. Let's select the category food and dining. And this is there it might be. So I added the expense. Okay, so total entries, it is showing one, but this is broken. So we can uh, fix that later. Okay, but before that, uh, let's convert this to service no service portal format okay now for that we'll again go back to uh, the ai and i'll just write one prompt this is not service now service portal format can you please convert it to the service portal format now this prompt is submitted and now this code will be changed to the service portal format okay now this is generated now again i'll just go to the code okay now it has converted 
but uh, everything is still is there in the HTML itself. So let's add one more prompt. Create separate CSS and client controller. And server side script. Okay, now we can see it has created HTML, CSS, client controller, and even server side script for us. Okay, now let's go and take the HTML. Okay, so let's copy the HTML and put it in html okay now i'll go to css okay let's copy the css and put that in css okay let's go to the client controller now just notice here it has added uh, c dot everywhere so in the functions also uh, let's go here so you can see it has changed the function to service portal format c dot then the function name then equal to function like that okay so let's just copy that and add it to client controller okay and just go to the server side script copy and add the server side script here okay let's just save this Now let's go to the page and refresh it once. Okay, so now we can see a better UI here. Okay, now this is service portal compatible. Okay, now let's add something. So I'll say lunch, I'll say 500, and I'll add food and dining as the category. Let's select the date today and add the expense. It's showing user not logged in even though I am logged in. So let's go back to the core. So in the server script, we can see there is a message here called user not logged in, but it's doing gs.getUser and then is logged in. I think that's wrong. It's just gs.logged in. So let's uh, save this now. Now let's try to add one more time. So this is selected. I'll just remove this. And I'll click on add expense. Okay, now it's showing the error in the glide record because this table is not created in the backend. So I'll create this table and all the fields offline. So if I go, uh, then here we can see uh, this is the action add expense, and we have the function for add expense here. Okay, so if I go to the function, this is the add expense function. Okay, now this is the table and we want these fields okay then only the expense will be added okay so i'll just go and create this uh, table and expense offline and come back okay i have created the expense tracker table here and all the required fields if i go to uh, the add expense then i can I, I need five fields here user description amount category and date i have created all those five fields here okay now let's go back and refresh the page again and now let's add so this time I'll add dinner and amount is thousand rupees. Now I'll select the category food and dining and select the date. That is, I'll say yesterday. Okay. And then I'll click on add expense. Now this time expense is added. And if I go back, then I can see uh, one expense is added here, dinner and thousand rupees and category is food. Okay, uh, you can create the category as a choice field here, but I just created that as a string field for now. Okay, so now if I go back here, then I can see uh, the category breakdown for dining. I have this, this uh, total entries one, and this month I have spent thousand rupees. Okay, so now let's add uh, something else. For example, groceries. Okay, I'll say three thousand. Yeah, food and dining, and let's add this. Okay, let's select the date and add the expense. Okay, now we can see this month that's 4,000. Total expenses are 4,000, and average per day is 129 rupees, and total entries are two. 
and this is still in food and dining okay so now i'll add one more i'll say movie i'll say 500 rupees so this goes to entertainment and select that as today and add the expenses okay now uh, here uh, in the category breakdown for entertainment we got one more record okay okay and uh, here we can see the recent expenses okay so this is how we can use ai and uh, create the pages and websites in just fraction of seconds like, i hope you like this video if you like this video then please hit the thumb icon and share it with your friends and subscribe the channel for more videos like this thank you